to today's QGIS tutorial lesson 3. In this video, we will learn how to download and install QGIS plugins. So, what are plugins? QGIS plugins add additional function functionalities to QGIS application. They add additional functionalities. And these additional functionalities is what we want to achieve. There is a collection of plugins ready to be used available i'll show you I'll, I'll save the link in the description where you can follow this plugin can also be installed directly from the qgis plugin manager within the qgis application so we are going to show you how to down, to install them directly in the qgis manager not 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 that plugins are developed by independent organizations and developers so how do we install plugins that is the next question that we are going to ask ourselves so let's go to our qgis in, the, in our in our last uh, in our last uh, uh, tutorial, we learned about how to uh, bring vector layers to QGIS. Now we're going to now learn how to download and install plugins into our QGIS to add those extra functionalities. There are some common plugins that we're going to install in this exercise. So let's get started. Mm. You will go to the menu bar on the menu bar you will see there is a tab called plugins select that in your case you will find that maybe you're just seeing manage and install plugins and python console but for me i have many 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 more drop downs here i'm going to show you how to achieve this all these are plugins that have actually installed to enable me to have the extra functionality so first things first make sure that your internet connection is okay for me, mine is already okay and connected. So, the next thing I'll do, I'll come to plugins, manage and install plugins, and click on that tab. Give it a few seconds to load. And it will load. It will bring another box here, and the box, the the, the another tab that the tab has uh, all as all installed, not installed, upgradable install from zip and then the settings so first th first things first let's let's look at what what is installed you can see i have so many installed plugins here for your case you'll find that maybe you have very very few and some plugins that i have are not having a, are not checked here so i'll show you the reasons why i have done that so let's go straight into it let's now see how to download a plugin for example, the ones that are not installed now, you can go to the ones that are not, you can go to all, let's just go to all, then go and select and look for HCM GIS, just type HCM GIS, that, you can see I have already installed this plugin. For you, for, for you, for your case, you will, you will, you will realize that maybe you still haven't installed it because down here it will be saying reinstall uh, install the plugin so click on install plugin what i can do is i can just uninstall plugin first then install it And the plugin is installed successfully again uh, that is one way of, the, uh, of installing plugins you can actually install it directly from from your plugin manager here there are other ways i'm going to show you but let's look at this plugin uh, this plugin is says base maps batch converter download covid data actually most of covid data has been up uploaded here and it's always uploaded every day download open data there's some data that you can actually download here 
and do many more things. So this, once you understand the importance of plugin and you can see the number of downloads and people who are using actually QGIS, many, many, many people, you can rate it if you want to rate it here. Then you can read more information about who actually developed this plugin. Then after that, you can just click on close. Now let's look at what the HTMJS plugin and where does it go to. When I look at my tabs here, I can go to plugins first. There's no HTMJS plugin, but I know where it is. It is actually at the end here of almost close to the end of, of my tabs. And it's when I click on it, the drop down comes. You can see on the HTMJS plugin, there is base maps. So let's select, select first base maps and select maybe say Google Satellite. And you will see it will actually bring up a, a base map. You can zoom in and out, get information about any region. So at least now you understand why we need to have plugins in QGIS so that you can have this extra functionality. Without these uh, plugins, then we couldn't maybe be able to get the base maps for the different regions that we want to look, look, look at. So that's one plugin that you can actually uh, install. Uh, so you can actually, if you know the plugin, you can do research online or if you have uh, if you have a developer in the office you can actually be able to uh, download that plugin with them now another way of downloading and installing plugin is this you can click on manage and install plugin now you can actually install it from a zip file so this is how we do it go and look for QGIS plugin QGIS plug in plugins then I'll select plugins and you can see it brings me all the available plugins here but I want the most table maybe say most top downloaded or most rated or most popular or experimental but most stable let me click on most stable first and then you can see there is this plugin here all there agis right it has that rating it was actually developed in map match so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this plugin then I will come and read any the information about the plugin, then the details and who, who actually created the plugin, then the version, the current version that which which was updated in June third, twenty twenty. This time is uh, this one. So I'll select the one point three. Consider the latest. Select it. Then. On my right hand here, I'll come and select download, click on download. Then I will browse from where I'm going to save my plugin. So I'm going to browse. I had actually already created a folder in our GIS working, uh, in our GIS working folder called plugins. So I'll come and select and I will save the AG, AGIS plugin in downloading already finished downloading so I will open the folder and then it is a zipped file there are two ways you can actually load it into QGIS you can load it directly by uh, extracting but now I want to load it as a zipped file so what I will do I will come to my plugins here remember how we are going to the plugins manager and install plugins then I will select install from zip and I'll come and select where my zip file is, which is the AGIS plugin. Open. 
Then I'll click install plugin. It will tell me security warning. Installing a plugin from an authorized sources can lead to data loss, leaks. Continue. No, I, I, in fact, I'll say don't show me this again because I trust this plugin. Yes. And just wait for a few seconds. It runs and it will tell you the plugin is installed successfully. So when I go to my install plugins, manage and install plugins. And then I come to the install plugins to see all my install plugins and you can see there's the AGS plugin here. So that is how you install plugins one from the plugin manager and two from from the, the zip tip file. I'll go back, look for popular plugins. You can see we have the MM PGIS plugin here and this is a semi-automatic classification plugin. This actually is also a very very useful plugin. So I'll select the semi-automatic classification plugin. Then come and read the details of who developed the semi-automatic classification plugin. And the version, the current version which was uploaded on 23rd, which is today at 5.59 am, I'll select the current version. I click on download. I'm going to save it in. I had already, already downloaded it. Today, I'll just add new. Ready? So, I have already downloaded it again. Where it is. So, I'm going to add it now into. PGIS plugins, manage and install plugins. Install from zip. I'll select where the semi automatic classification plugin is, which is in this one. This I open, install, give it a few seconds. You tell me the plugin installed successfully. I click on close. You can see the plugin has been loaded into our dock here and also here. So this plugin is also going to be very very useful when you'll be dealing with downloading of satellite data and doing the different kinds of classification analysis. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more on QGIS, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when I upload my next video. Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. See you in the next video.